Hello Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and welcome to another reading. Keep in mind that the energies can be vice versa, so keep in mind that this reading may or may not resonate for you. If it doesn't, feel free to check out your other placements. Sorry, I'm a Virgo. OCD is starting to kick in. Is it good? Oh, it's not perfect. Boom! It's perfect. Not really, but let's keep going. How does Cancer currently view this relationship? this we have give your relationship a chance work on your partnership along with honeymoon enjoy the bliss of holiday time together for me as a reader honeymoon does represent the six of swords and tarot so you could be um connecting with an aquarius specifically or somebody who has aqua moon within their placement you could possibly have aqua moon within your placement but this is all about moving forward moving forward but moving forward with clarity here okay we do have let go of control issues allow the situation to unfold naturally and trust the situation's calling for you to have faith here so i kind of like it because i feel like somebody's staying optimistic here about this relationship someone's staying optimistic here they're just trusting the that they're just trusting the process they're going with the flow here i like it now this could be the both of you harnessing this energy this could just be one of you but we'll see all right how does cancer currently view this relationship oh cancer you got the four of pentacles here capricorn energy but the ten of wands here sag we have the seven of uh, pentacles here, so Taurus. I kind of feel like you're the one that's kind of um, shutting down on this person, to be quite honest. It's like deep down inside you want to invest, but you're not doing it. You're not doing it. It's like deep down inside you want one thing, but your actions are kind of like telling this person otherwise hopefully that makes sense right hopefully that makes sense here right because it's like i do feel like there's communication happening uh between you and this person right and i i feel like you're trying your best to stay optimistic here like this person is um but it's like uh i just feel like you have your doubts and your reservations to be quite honest but you don't trust the situation enough to say okay i'm gonna go all in and do this right because I kind of feel like a part of you wants to, but it's like, I also kind of feel like a part of you is kind of stopping yourself from fully investing into this relationship like you would want to. Um, so we'll see. We'll see. Let, let's see where this person's at. How does this person currently view this relationship not, uh, with cancer? All right, so we have the Six of Pentacles, Taurus energy with the star card here, Aquarius. Uh, and then we have the Hermit here, Virgo. Mm. This person, um, I kind of feel like the both of you are in the same boat about each other. We're like, the both of you are kind of questioning each other at this point in, in reference to like, where is this going or is this worth investing time and energy into? I kind of feel like the both of you are kind of like in the same boat. Uh, to a certain to a certain extent here, right? Because I kind of feel like this person, the the, uh, what is it? Uh, I kind of feel like uh, the only reason why you're just a little standoffish is because, again, it's like a part of you wants this but a part of you is just like i don't know right and this person it's like they know what they want right so that's the difference there's no i don't know in this person's mind this person knows exactly what it is that they want and exactly what it is that they're looking for it's like a part of you wants this a part of you is just like questioning whether or not you genuinely do want this right and that's where you're at and that's fine but this person over here this queen of swords is feminine energy here keep in mind we have masculine and feminine energies within us this does not have to be a woman this could also be a, i mean it could be a man right um anyways this person knows they know what they want here right and i do feel like this person is is trying to stay hopeful here and kind of keep the faith they are giving to the situation here but it's like you want to give but you're just like i'm not gonna do it though i'm not gonna do it i'm not gonna do it i'm not gonna do it 
you know, and there's nothing really holding this person back. But I feel like the only thing that's holding you back, well, is you, to be quite honest. Let's look into this 10 of, um, yeah, let's look into the 10 of wands. I don't worry about the 10 of wands for cancer. Dude, it's like you're going back and forth, man. Right? Uh, for the overall energy, we do have the Ace of Wands here. So there's potential for a new beginning here, right? But it's like in your mind, it's like, I don't know, man. I don't know. 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 I don't know if I want this. I don't know. You just make up your mind, man. Just make it up. Because it's starting to become overwhelming for you because you keep going back and forth in your head. It's like, at times you find yourself wanting this. At times you find yourself not wanting this at all. So you got to figure out, like, uh, you got to pick a side of the fence. Like, what do you want? That's the real question here. I feel like this person is trying to really keep the faith here when it comes down to giving to this situation. Because um, they know what they want. So then they just go after it. It's, it's, an, it's a no-brainer for the Queen of Swords. It's a no-brainer for the Queen of Swords. They just know what they want. So then they go after it and they take action towards it. Um, how does this person, I mean, how does Cancer feel about this relationship? Interesting. Interesting. We got the star card here, Aquarius, with the Ace of Swords here. Gemini, Libra, again, Aquarius, um, with the Devil, Capricorn energy. I want to clarify the Devil. I more about the devil for uh, cancer. Yeah. You don't trust this person. You don't trust this person. You got the seven of swords here with the emperor here. Could be dealing with an Aries, possibly an Aquarius. That, that, that okay. That's what's, what's going to, okay, how do I do this? I just feel like you don't trust this person. I kind of feel like you, you kind of look at this person like they're up to no good or that they have something to hide here. And this is what's kind of like, this is how I like keeping you stuck. Like, I don't know, man. I don't know if I should do this because I don't really trust this person like that. Um, and it's like, it's weird because it's not weird, but it's like you're, you, you, you know, okay, no, not that you know, because I don't feel like it's coming from any sort of concrete evidence on your end, I gotta be honest. I kind of feel like you think that you can't trust this person. Let's go ahead and say that. I feel like you think that you can't trust this person, but what's the why I say that there is no concrete evidence behind this is because you're, you have the star on your end too, where it's like, in your mind, you think that you can't trust this person or you think that this person's up to no good, but you're still trying to keep the hope and the faith anyways. So that's why I feel like there is no concrete evidence as far as, is this, the, are, are they sneaking around cheating? Are they lying? Are they withholding information? You don't have any sort of concrete evidence to kind of prove that because you're just like, well, I'm going to keep the hope and the faith anyways. You know, I could be wrong. I could be wrong about this person. And you could be. Maybe, maybe, maybe not, but you could be, right? Um, and again, I do feel like, oh, look, awesome. Look, we got the Emperor again with the Ace of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, and then we have the Queen of Cups. So a lot of Cancer energy here. Uh, we also have Earth, so Virgo, and then we have the Emperor Aries energy here. Again, this is what you want. This is what you want. This is what you're seeking for with this person here. And that's why I feel like you're trying to keep the hope and the faith when it comes down to this person here. But it's like a part of you feels like you can't trust this person entirely. And this is why you're like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. You got to figure it out. Because it's not coming from a place of, I know for a fact you're sneaking around cheating and lying to me. I know. I don't feel like you know anything to be quite honest i feel like you think something's up but to sit here and say like without a shadow of a doubt i know i don't i don't feel that nor do i see that on your end and if you know then you know but the fact that you're still keeping hope and faith that maybe we can have this maybe we can have this one day you know goes to show that it's all in your head 
how does this person feel about this relationship with cancer? We have the... This is the second time that you guys are getting this, by the way. You guys got the... Uh, who else got this? Libra also got it, too. Um, but Libra and you got the Ace of Wands uh, with the Seven of Cups here. So, again, it's like... Like I said in your last reading, you are the chosen one. You're definitely the chosen one here. I don't, again, if we want to sit here and say that this person is sneaking around cheating, I don't necessarily feel like that's the case. I feel like you are the chosen one here. And, and deep down inside, this person knows it with the high priestess. They know that you're the one for them. But you don't necessarily see it that way. You're looking at them like... Yeah, no, I can't trust this person. Like, I bet you, if anything, they're sneaking around cheating and, and talking to other men or women. But not having concrete evidence to really back it up. You know? Listen, we've all been there, done that. But again, like, deep down inside, this person knows that you're the one. So then there's that. Okay. What actions will cancer take towards this person and moving forward? Okay, so we have the Queen of Wands here with the chariot, and then we have death. Okay, let's let's look at this person over here. What actions will this person take towards cancer and moving forward? Okay, so we have the Eight of Cups here. Got mm. Oh, Cancer. It kind of looks like you're bringing an ending to this person. And, and I, I bet you, if anything, it's because you think that this person's sneaking around and cheating and that you think that this person has something to hide. So you're bringing an ending to this person. Um, and that's what you're doing here. And it kind of looks like uh, this person's choosing to kind of walk away here. I got to be honest, man. Um, the way that this person's kind of walking their, away and their attitude towards it, it it's kind of like, how can I explain this? It's kind of like, I know that I don't have anything to hide. So if you want to end things with me, end things with me. If you want to accuse me, accuse me. But I know that I don't have anything to hide. So if that's your decision, that's your decision. I'm fine with it. Because I know I don't have anything to hide. And that's their attitude towards it. So that kind of says a lot about what you think is going on. You know what I'm saying? Says a lot, man. It says a whole lot. So I don't know. Like I said, their attitude towards it. Like, if you, want, if you don't want to be with me, don't be with me. But I know that I don't have anything to hide. That's their attitude. That's their whole approach. And you're just like, yeah, no, I don't trust you. Get away. They're like, okay, don't trust me. I don't have anything to hide. So then it is what it is. Um, like I said, I feel like when it comes down to this relationship with, with you, Cancer, this person is trying to stay optimistic here, right? Again, you're the chosen one in this person's eyes, right? It could be vice versa. This is how you, this could be how you feel about them, right? But again, it's like they want forward movement. They want progression here. That's what they're looking for, right? And again, it's all about them wanting to take this leap of faith with you as far as having something long-term goes, right? And I feel like you want the exact same thing. It's showing up again after even shuffling it. It's showing up again same same cards you want the same things with this person but because you don't trust them and because you think that they have something to hide you're just like no 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 i know you have something to hide so i'm not gonna do this i'm not gonna do it. i'm not gonna pursue you. i'm not gonna do this i'm not gonna do this i'm not gonna do this and so you just bring an ending to them like i said their attitude towards it i don't know dude i just kind of feel like this person is like fine don't be with me then I know I don't have anything to hide, so I'm good, right? I know I didn't do anything, so I'm good, right? And you might take it in a way where it's like, oh, this person doesn't care about me. They, they never cared about me. They never cared about me. I just think that you... You allowed... Um, 
how can I say this? You allowed the unknown to mess with your head, which pushed you to make this decision. Because you don't have any concrete evidence. I can, I, can, I can say that. At least for those of you who do, then, tu sabes, then you do. You have it. But I don't feel like you do. I feel like you allowed your mind to play tricks with you, which brought you to this point. Any advice for cancer in regards to this spread? Listen, we, we all been there, done that. We all make mistakes here. But again, it's like you could prevent this from happening uh, if you wanted to. Again, it's like, yeah. We have deception, release your ex in very soon. This is you deciding, right, to end things with this person here. Because you think that this person has something to hide here. You, th you think that they do, right? And like I said, it's like, oh, cancer. There is potential here. There is. There, there's potential here. As far as staying optimistic goes, I kind of feel like this message is for you or whoever's resonating with this person over here. It's all about staying optimistic here, right? And that's something that you're choosing. It's like, yes, yes, I feel like to a certain extent you were you were trying to keep the hope and the faith that, you know, maybe, maybe I'm overreacting, right? Maybe I am, maybe I am, maybe I am. Um... But again, I kind of feel like that got the best of you, right? Because you go from staying optimistic here with that star card here, keeping an open mind, right? Pursuing this person, right? Following your heart. But this is what this is what breaks within you, right? This devil, codependency, that's the devil card. They're sneaking around, they're cheating. I know it, I know it. They're lying, they're lying, they're lying. Or they're going to do this to me, they're going to do that. They're going to do this, they're going to do that. And that's what causes you to just snap, essentially, causes you to snap and it causes you to bring an ending to this person here without having the facts you know what i'm saying because i'm sorry i just do you not look at this person's energy alone i'm just like i'm kind of shocked look at this person's energy alone it's just like you're bringing an ending and they're just like okay okay because it's like, I don't feel like this person, has, I just don't feel it. Like, whoever this is, I don't feel like they have anything to hide. I feel like, if anything, you are the chosen one. You know what I'm saying? But you... You're, you're, yeah, I don't know. You're, you're making a, a decision based off of what you think is going on. You know what I'm saying? And that's when you snap. It's happening. They're doing this to me. I just know it. I know it. I know it. You don't know anything, really, because it's like, I'm sorry. It's kind of like when somebody accuses you of doing something, right? It's like, you kind of, I don't know. I kind of feel like this person's that type of person where it's just like, okay, then believe what you want like at this point believe what you want because i i know that i'm not doing anything so my conscience is clear and if you want to accuse me accuse me but i know that i don't have anything to hide and you're not gonna like the way that this person kind of um dismisses themselves out of your life to be quite honest you're dismissing them but you're not gonna like the way this person walks away because this person's walking away like you know what i really wanted you I really wanted this. If you think that, if you believe that, then believe it. But I'm just going to walk away. Because I feel like this person knows what they bring to the table, right? Um, and I kind of feel like this person has their conscience clear. They know what they want. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like they want something long-term. They want something meaningful here. And if you're just going to sit there and accuse this person... Maybe the two of you shouldn't be together. But again, you can prevent this from happening. You don't have to snap and automatically accuse or think. You don't have to do that. You could avoid it. You could prevent it. But again, it's like, just, 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 just relax. Because I just kind of feel like you're jumping the gun here without having, without having the facts. I kind of feel like that's what you're doing here. 
Yeah, you're jumping the gun here. Look at this. Even to clarify the Ace of Swords here, you're jumping the gun. Like, you're acting out of impulse is what you're doing. Look at that. You're acting out of impulse, and you're not even coming from a from a place of, like, clarity. You know what I'm saying? You're not. You think that you are, but you're not. Again, you think, right? Because you're, you're letting your mind run away with you, and that's what you're doing, right? Because you think that this person's out here exploring their options. You are the chosen one, okay? That's what you think is happening here. And it's just like, yeah, I just know, I know, I know, I know. But you don't know because you're coming from a place of not having clarity on this situation here. You're letting your mind run away with you. And you're acting out of impulse. That's what you're doing. You're acting out of impulse here. But if you actually had that clarity, you would see the relationship for what it truly is here, right? Um, I feel like you're dealing with someone here... Um, cancer that really does want something with you but this is like your how can i explain this dude you're just you're 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 dude you're jumping the freaking gun here i i can't really i can't emphasize that enough here it's like if you were to just have that clarity here you know and that peace of mind you would feel a lot better as far as pursuing this person goes but to be quite honest it's not it's not them it's you right because you're letting your mind run away with you you're letting you're letting fear and anxiety um overwhelm you and you're having some sort of like moment right and you're just like i know you're doing this to me without having the facts you don't have it you don't have it i keep wanting to say that you don't have the facts you think Something's going on, but you don't know anything, right? And so again, it's like, it's preventing you from doing this. It's preventing you from pursuing this person. It's preventing you from committing to this person because you think. You think something's happening. You think it. But you're not coming from a place of, I know this is happening. And so what are you doing? You're acting on an impulse. Why? Because you want to defend yourself and you want to protect yourself and you don't want to get hurt. But you're actually self you're, you're, you're bringing this upon yourself, either which way you want to look at it. You could think that this person has something to hide, but you're bringing this upon yourself and you don't even realize that because you're acting out of impulse. You know what I'm saying? So try not to act out of impulse. Try to kind of take some time to really think things through here because you're not thinking from a place of, I know you're doing this. You're thinking from a place of, well, I think you're doing this, so I'm done. I'm done. I'm not doing this. I'm done. It's over. Go away. So, then there's that. Hopefully this reading resonates with you. Hopefully it brings you some clarity in regards to whoever it is that you're connecting with or will be connecting with. And I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye.